you look directly behind me, there's a man with a skin-coloured T-shirt on and a Chinese-style Dr. No suit. But behind him is a very important car for Rolls-Royce. It's the 102EX. That's essentially a Phantom that's electric. What they've done is they've taken a Tesla 120-ish kilowatt motor, up the power to 145 kilowatts, put two of them in. They're over the back axle where the fuel tank used to be. Then in the front's 96 lithium-ion cells. They reckon it's nearly as quick as a V12. This car is so silent that when Rolls have been testing it, the biggest problem they've had is the noise that comes from that needle tick, 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 ticking away. If you'd taken no notice about electric cars until now, I think you're going to start taking notice now that Rolls-Royce are entering the game. Rolls have been really open about the fact that they, they haven't been asked to make an electric car by their customers and their customers probably don't really want one at the moment, but they know that they've got to change at some point. And this, they say, is a sort of icebreaker for their customers. It's to show that they're capable of doing it and they're thinking of going down that route. They haven't said they're going to produce this car, but they know that in the future, the V12 is probably going to have to be phased out. They know for a fact that most of their owners only do short journeys and predominantly in the city, which of course are two places which suits electrical cars perfectly and no one ever bought a Rolls-Royce because it was loud.